Hi everybody, welcome to Easy Life Outdoors. My name is Seth McElhoe. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for taking time out of your busy days to watch me do this. Um, this is going to be a walkthrough video of my new 2023 Sea Arc Easy Cat. Uh, this is kind of the introduction video, the the opening walkthrough. Um, I want to talk about what you can expect when you order a new boat from Sea Arc, and I'm sure a lot of other boat brands are the same. Um, I did the walkthrough video, and as I was going through and editing it. I realized that I wanted to cover some more things. Um, so first I want to talk about the ordering process. Uh, I went through Dave's Marine in Fort Madison, Iowa. Uh, Mike Bainey owns and operates that. And he was really great to work with. Um, everything I asked of him, he made sure that, that we were able to do it. Um, my boat and order was a little bit different than average. Uh, I've got some, I've got a connection in Sea Arc um, a good friend of mine. So I was able to order some stuff that might not be available, um, readily, like the new welded windshield that you guys will see. Um, I kind of got a tip that that was a thing that was going to be coming. So I wanted to go ahead and place my order. So originally I thought my boat was going to be the second boat with the welded windshield and ended up being the third, but either way, my boat got pushed through pretty fast because the windshield's a prototype and they wanted some practice uh, for the guys down there to, to get them built and put on boats. And as far as I know, as of right now, uh, mine will be the only Easy Cat uh, getting that new windshield. So that's pretty exciting for me. Um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of money and um, just a lot of effort from Searx part to build those windshields. Um, so. I don't know. We'll see where the, what the future holds for them, but I know I love mine. So anyway, I ordered the boat October 3rd. Um, I received a phone call, I believe, November 29th that it was going to be done in the next couple days. Um, and then I was able to load up and drive down to Monticello, Arkansas myself. I met Steve Henderson and the team down there, uh, walked around the plant. They were awesome. Um, Steve is a very personable guy. If you guys ever see him in a tournament or something, don't be afraid to go up and say hi to him. He's a great dude. Um, like I said, he gave me a tour of the plant. It's a really awesome facility down there. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of it, but um, it's pretty cool. It's really interesting to see how they do things. Um, like I said, I picked it up December 2nd, brought it back home. No, I picked it up the 3rd, I'm sorry. I uh, headed down to Monticello on the 2nd. Brought it back home. Dropped it off at Dave's and he was able to rig it, uh, get the motor installed and do all that process uh, in just a few days. Um, I was able to pick it up, I think second week in December, I had my boat at home. Um, so part of my order that was a little bit different, I got the smoked quartz uh, package and a blackout amped package on the outside. So usually the Sea Arc decals on the back will be chrome. I requested those be black and then the blackout decals. Um, so that was a little bit different. And I also wanted to keep my black rails and black windshield, but I wanted blue interior LED lighting uh, because that's what I, I wanted blue on the outside and inside. So I was able to get the rear corners and a blue LED and then the cup holder lights are RGB so you can change them in any color. But like I said, I retained my black uh, steering wheel and rails. And this is all stuff that you guys can do. Um, just don't be afraid to ask your dealer when you go in and order, order a boat. Just just see what they're willing to do for you. And uh, like I said, I know I know Mike, I mean, he he jumped over a lot of bridges to, to help me make this happen, gave me a great deal on it. Um, another thing that I decided I wanted was the Suzuki SMG4 gauge. Um, I was able to decide where they placed that, and then I didn't want any analog gauges in the dash. So they shipped it to me with just a smooth plate of aluminum, uh, the reason for that is I'm planning to maybe flush mount a, a dash or a graph there. I'm sorry on the dash, and uh, I just didn't want any holes to deal with. And even if I did want analog gauges, I kind of wanted to lay them out in the way that suited me. Um, so that's kind of a, a custom deal. Um, CRC has a ton of options that you can go through. Um, your dealer should have a book that you can look through, and you can decide way more stuff than than what you realize. Um, they're doing like speckle paint in the line X now, um, all sorts of colors. You can change a lot of things. Also, I ordered it with no seat pedestals and I didn't have them put the doublers on the floor either um, because I wanted to do that um, all custom to me. I'm a bigger guy. Most of the guys that I fish with are good size. 
Um, so I wanted to be able to place my seats in a way that I could sit in them and spin around and fish out the back like us cat fishermen do without having to slide the seats forward or back. Um, but if that's not something you're interested in, they can definitely install them for you. And you can, you can actually order smooth move seats with your boat now from the factory. I was not aware of that. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I wanted to address is, uh, this is a big boat is a big purchase for me. Um, I want to, I want people to know anyone can do this. Uh, I by no means come from money. I am a young guy. I work in a factory. I make decent, I make a decent living, but myself and my wife, my family really had to sacrifice, uh, to make this happen. And I couldn't be more appreciative of her for, for sticking through this with me. Um, but it was a lot of ramen noodles and bologna sandwiches. And for any of you that don't know, I had a 2011 ProCat 200 before this that I was able to buy pre COVID, uh, worked really hard, paid it off and then took advantage of a COVID market and sold it for quite a bit more than what I paid for it. Um, that was definitely made, made it possible for this to happen. Um, but anyone can do this. Like I said, you got to make sacrifices. You got to make sure that this is something that you want, but this is not unattainable. Um, it's an awesome boat and I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, I hope you stick through the video and, and watch the tour and check it out and stick around and subscribe and like and watch. I'm going to continue to be putting out videos of installations and I'm going to take you guys through the experience of ordering a brand new boat because I know uh, myself, I had never, you know, been in a new boat, let alone owned one. Um, so I'm going to show you all the nuts and bolts and everything that goes into it and it's a blank canvas. Um, you can do whatever you want and I'm excited. I couldn't be any more excited to go through the process and take you guys along with me. So stick around um, and enjoy the video. Thanks guys. I got it on the deluxe trailer, which comes with a Fulton two-speed jack or winch, a Fulton heavy-duty jack, spare tire. Uh, it's got surge brakes, all LED lights. These CR emblems light up. Uh, LED running lights, and then, as you can see, I went with the blackout amped package on the outside. It's kind of a Frankenstein order. This is kind of part of what Mike was able to do for me. Um, so I went black amped on the outside, blue amped on the inside, minus a few things. So I still have the black rails. Um, I got pods come standard now. You don't have to ask for them anymore. I got talon brackets. I got a Sea Star Extreme 4 inch jack plate. It's holding up this massive Suzuki 300 horse four stroke engine with a 3 by 16 by 20 Suzuki stainless prop. Uh, we haven't got a chance to really run it too much, but I got it up to 53 so far. Uh, I think once it's broken and we can run it hard, might get 55 out of it uh, until I put all the weight that us cat fishermen do. That's going to slow it down a little bit, but it pushes this boat plenty fast. Um, I've got an installation, a lot of installation videos coming, but uh, got my oxygen bottle mounted on the pod here, which is pretty clean, keeps it out of your feet. And let's hop up in here and see what the Easy Cat's all about. All right, so this is it. Like I said, I want the smoke quartz exterior, tan interior on this boat. Uh, the front deck is just like any other CR since 2010. Uh, the anchor locker, still up front, plenty of room. You can fit a couple anchors, a few hundred feet of rope, no problem. On my boat, with this order, they came with two six and a half inch Jensen speakers in the front deck. 
35-gallon uh, front live well. Fuel fill is still on the front deck. Um, and this is what makes an easy cat an easy cat. Got two massive couches, storage underneath on both sides. You can fit all your life jackets, oars, anything you want to put in there will fit in there. If your kids are being bad, you can put them under there. Uh, and then the backrest pulled up as well with separate storage in there. And there's also two six and a half inch speakers in the couches as well. And then with, like I said, I got kind of a Frankenstein amp package. I got all blue LED lighting. Um, and the couch cup holders actually light up as well. It's an RGB LED, so you can change the colors. This control panel right here. So you can see the fade in and out to any color you can think of. And they'll strobe, there's a lot of different functions. Um, if anybody wants a better video on how this works, because I had no idea when I ordered the boat. I always kind of wondered how the switch works, but it's not actually a button, it's just kind of a touch screen deal. Um, this is the star of the show. This is what's causing all the buzz on Facebook and everything. This is the very first easy cap to ever be built with this new windshield. And I believe it's the third boat ever to be built with this new welded windshield. Um, it's all custom built to your boat. Uh, when you order a new boat, you can ask for this. It's a pretty substantial option, but it's really worth it. Um, this, it's higher, taller than the glass windshield, and it is sturdy. I, I'm 275, 280 pounds, depending on the day. And I challenge you to do this on any glass windshield at market. It doesn't flex, it doesn't move. It's stout, strong. Um, what else here? I went with the Suzuki gauge uh, for all my information. And then I ordered this boat without any gauges in the dash. Um, normally they'll put five gauges. Some people will do no gauges except a fuel gauge, but, and I'll do more videos on this in the future. You really don't need a fuel gauge anymore. With these digital gauges, they're far more accurate than the factory fuel gauge and they look a lot cleaner. So my intentions now is to put flush mount a sonar in this dash. Um, so I just didn't want any other holes to deal with. Um, this plate screws right out. So if you don't want to put a uh, sonar, or if you do, you can take this out, put it on your table, cut it out perfect. Um, it's really, really nice. And when you go to install your multi-bar graph mounts up here, you can pull this panel off, reach in really easy, all open access, um, it's perfect. So, Switch panels from CR. you get five switches, you get two spare accessory switches, um, which most of us will need more than that, but uh, it's nice that those are there. Uh, it came with a Jensen head unit for the stereo. There's also two six and a half inch speakers underneath the console. Um, so a lot of people are adding aftermarket stereos to these boats and I probably will upgrade a little bit, but this thing is pretty loud from the factory. Um, this is new for 2021, I believe but the new uh, welded glove box. You can reach all the way to the back of this thing. I'll never fill that thing up. It is really, really big. I also ordered this boat completely bare floor with no seats in it. And then I put the doublers in myself. That's why they're not exactly even. I positioned them exactly where they would be comfortable for me. Um, and I got two Smooth Move Ultra seats with the new Millennium Marine Tan seats that just came out this year. And I think they really, really match pretty good. Uh, they're super comfortable. They're tough. They last forever. They do a great job. Um, Next, uh, rod lockers, same rod lockers have been in there since 2016. Um, I think they'll hold an eight foot rod. Uh, they got C-deck in the bottom to keep them scratched up your reels too bad. And they are lockable. 
Um, switch here. Got one on the driver's side as well. <coughs> this is another upgrade that I've done. This is a storage box that Sea Arc makes, makes that they would normally put in like a modified V or a boat like that. Um, but I measured it and it fits perfect in the cat lineup. So Pro Cats, Easy Cat, any boat with these rod lockers on the sides. Um, I just put all my sinkers in there. And those are just plastic storage trays you can get from Menards. They're super cheap um, and they hold all the sinkers that I'll ever need. And the massive 85 gallon live well on struts, standard now, which is pretty exciting for me. Uh, you don't have to worry about bonking your head and pulling fish out of the tournament. Um, it also is insulated with sea deck material. And new for this year, or last year, uh, there is a 1600 gallon an hour fill that will fill this live well in about two minutes. And then they've also got another 800 gallon an hour fill and an 800 gallon an hour recirc. Um, sea Arc is really leading the industry in fish care and how they're building these live wells. I mean, you can tell they really, they're really working on keeping these big fish alive on these hot tournament days. Um, they're doing a good job. And then part of my Frankenstein amp package here. I got the CR blue lights on the rear corners to help light up the rods at night and they just look sharp. I like like the way they did them. Pillows. And then the same battery compartment they've had for quite a while. So I've just got one Pro Guide Group 31 AGM battery in there for now. I'm going to end up with five, I believe. Um, two cranking batteries in parallel, and then I'll do a 36 volt system in series. Plenty of room for all those batteries, two chargers, and then whatever else you want to stick back there. So that's basically the boat, guys. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, this 300 Suzuki, I believe, is going to be a very reliable engine for me. It runs good, runs hard. It's all fly-by-wire. The new throttle's really responsive. They feel good. It's definitely an upgrade. Um, I also went with the blinker jack plate switch from C-Star. came out nice. But... I think that's about it guys. I appreciate you watching the video. Um, I'll try and post update videos as often as I can. I'm going to video every single thing I can about building this boat and I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to try and keep this content coming to you. Thank you.